Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cyberhorn92 here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to beat the cashier or I think that's how you say it. AKA cash money hero. Anyways, um, yeah, so these are the side decks I can think of top of my head. And if I do forget any of them or forgot about any, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So we got Artifact Lencia. Most of the time they banish your cards of your extra deck or your deck. You don't want that. You just Lencia them and then um, they won't be able to do that. And yeah, it's been a while and maybe we might see Lencia. It has been a while probably. La like two formats ago I would say. I'm not quite sure last format but yeah. We got Ash Blossom. It's really good. They do play, um, they do play Shifter so Ash does not need to be um in a grave it can also be banished if you guys didn't know i believe you usually stop the unicorn um most of the time that's the key card to um do one whole combo with that one card and then we got chaos hunter this is also good as well um when your opponent special summon monster you just discard a card special summon and your opponent cannot banish and it's really good um, to stop evenly match as well. So you destroy the cashier deck and evenly match. That's insane. And then we got Winter Cherries. This is actually one of my favorites as well. Um, mainly you want to uh, banish, I believe, the Giant Dream um, the Mind Hacker. And then um, it'll be kind of um, awkward position that they had to do other plays without this card. Or you can either hit this or this, depending. I would mainly go for this one. And then this card, uh, Karkara Divine Carnate. I think that's how you say its name. This is also, um, it's good as well. It also skyrocketed recently. I didn't know. I was actually quite surprised about it. But, um, so as long as this card must be special summoned from your hand by tripping all face up card on the field that activates. This turn in your opponent monster zone gain 1500 attack for each monster tribute to special summon. Wow, that is insane. You get a boss monster and this one. Pretty good, pretty good. And then we got Lava Golem. Really good as well. Um, if they have their berry statue, unfortunately you cannot um, summon this one. This is considered a special summon, but if they don't have it, then you're Gucci. And then we got side frame gear gamma. This is also good as well. Uh, stop the unicorn. And then um, yeah, they can't do really much after that. But you have to worry about the the berry statue. If berry statue is still alive until uh, when the release. I believe the release coming out on February 10. I believe so. So that is gonna be. One week for the YCS Vegas 3v3. And yeah, so guys, watch out. Either cashier or cashier tier elements or a regular cashier deck. But yeah, I feel like the safer route will be Spear Mo. Uh, you just tribute um, their monster to whichever um, is locking your zone. And then you summon that down your opponent's side. And yeah, and then your zones are free up as well. I feel like this is probably better, like these two, just in case. Because if they have the uh, berry statue, these will be a dead card. These wouldn't. Um, I'm not quite sure about this. I feel like this is really good. Everyone's been talking about it. Um, I'm not quite sure if they zone lock you and then uh, you can summon this, but I'm pretty sure you're going to drop this before um, afterwards. But yeah. And then now going second cards just in case. Look at Clips, really good. Uh, the only downside about this card is that whenever you set their monster, if you don't um, destroy their monster, they're gonna draw for each card while they're on the field. So yeah, just in case. And if you guys didn't know, you can actually Ash Blossom this card because that is considered drawing. So yeah. And Dark Hole, Rigeki is really good, Boar Wipes. Um, yeah, and then I would say probably the best card so far, it would be Source of Light. Light. Um, it's two whole turn. It's a really good card, but um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like this is really good, but if they have like some card like Alice, like Cosmic Cyclone, or anything able to pop it, then they just fully um, combo again. So it's kind of iffy. So yeah, I would say one of these. I would say probably this one because they can't ash this one. 
and yeah hopefully you're able to like break their board two whole turn is a pretty long um time and then then we got the newer cards coming out very soon triple tax tasking if your opponent has activated a monster effect this turn set one normal spells or trap directly from their deck uh, except triple attack it cannot be activated this turn or if your opponent control a monster you can add that card to your hand instead wow that is insane that is kind of like the trap trick in a way but you're not banishing um i, I would not be surprised people will be probably going to be playing this card and then we got triple attack talents we all know this card is super a staple card most likely it has to be fair, especially you draw two cards to control your opponent or look at your opponent and as well. So it'll be very, very powerful against the mirror match. And then now for the traps, we got the mention of barrier. Most of the time they play uh, a lot of XYZ in their extra deck, I believe so. And then some synchro like Baron or something like that. But um, yeah, you just call XYZ, they just pass turn and yeah, they just gonna have like some monster on the field and then just pass turn. And then we got Ghost and Match, this usually locked them out. Um, they have varieties of their extra deck monsters, especially um, if, like, this is light. No, this is fire, and this is dark, and yeah. And then we got a new card, um, currently not being played right now, but um, we got the Grave of the Spear Ancient or orgasm i think that's how you say i'm not quite sure level six or higher switch summon monster on a field cannot declare an attack or narrow player cannot activate their effects wow that is kind of like a mini gravity bind and um cannot activate so it's kind of gravity bind slash a skill drain in a way and it's a continuous card as well now we got imperial iron wall your player cannot banish cards so this is actually pretty good and then we got impermanence. This is also probably a good um, hand trap. I can think of the top of my head. Uh, it's not once per turn. You literally stop their unicorn, I believe. I don't know what else you stop. Uh, mainly unicorn. But um, and also you uh, lock your opponent's zone too. So that's actually pretty good. Two um, two effects in one card is insane. And then we got skill drain. You flip the skill drain and yeah, GG GG Noreen. You know. <laughs> Uh, no effect. Uh, 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 um, whoever opened this, you're, you're you're insane, you know. But um, unless you you are able to play with this card, especially, uh, tier elements can play this. Uh, any floodgate decks are able to play this. But yeah, and then we got Tickaboo, you know. Uh, really good. Uh, they won't be able to do much plays, and then, yeah, they just gonna have to pass turn and summon limit. Um, just in case you guys don't know about this ruling. If your opponent summon a monster and then they summon another monster, you can flip this one. Summon limit somehow able to remember that. So, yeah, near play can summon more than two times, and then yeah, and then I put um the maybe list Nibiru will be really good. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, sometime like not saying it's a bad card, but like if you draw this card late, then it is really not in your favor, you know, but. If you do draw it, that's really wonderful. Drone Lock Bird is really good. You stop your surge and then they can't do much after that. But don't forget, they play Shifter. So this does require um, this card to be in the graveyard. Same goes for Effect Failure. Effect Failure is really good too. But if they shift through you, and this will be a dead card, unfortunately, since it is considered as in your graveyard as well. Uh, Dogwood, it's kind of iffy. I would say this probably be good at a regional. I believe regional are like 40 minutes and then YCS are for, uh, 45 minutes, that extra 5 minutes. Um, you could put them in a clock or um, they just gonna like won't do as much. Who knows? It's kind of like a mini maxi in a way, but who knows? I probably would play this for a regional now YCS. Because um, 5 minutes isn't long. Sure, they're gonna like gain a lot and then they'll try to like try to like push as much damage as much as possible uh dark ruler is a really good card um i feel like it is zone lock you and then you dark ruler them turn out that is considered lingering effect and yeah you cannot do uh anything about that so this would not be a good card and then lightning storm it's a really good card but you're going to like especially um 
really good tournaments, especially YCS regional. A lot of players try to dare to do well, top or win, whatever. There will be a lot of good players who will put in their monster defense position. So Lightning Storm only destroys only um attack face up position. Oh, and also I forgot. Uh, evenly match is also a really blowout card as well. And yeah, I think that's about it. If I do forget anything, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Your boy Cyberhorn92 is signing out. Peace.